Greetings and hello. Welcome back to Dynamics 802 Online. I hope everyone had a restful and relaxing break. Thus begins the final portion of our 2019-2020 school year, and we hope it ends on a positive note despite some very unusual and trying circumstances. Over the break, uh, we had some nice weather. I was able to get outside and really enjoy the landscape of Vermont, and it reminded me of this quote from President Calvin Coolidge, which I'll let you read on your own. I just found that really appropriate for this uh, day and age and the events that we're living through, and it just made me proud to be a Vermonter. Over the break, we've updated our Dynamics 802 online schedule. Uh, we've made it look more like the Monday memo that you're used to. This has links to all of the learning opportunities uh, for the week. It also has links to specials. It's got information about extra help for math and literacy. And then you can see across the bottom, we've also uh, created some resources for extension activities, which are optional, uh, but will fuel some creativity and hopefully spark some interest with our students. Don't forget also to visit our website. We continue to update this on a daily basis. We've changed the navigation a little bit, so it's somewhat more user friendly. If you look at the icons across the top, once you get to our web page, click on the topic that you're interested in and that will take you to the most updated and relevant learning and resources for that particular subject. Uh, and again, if you're looking at the slideshow, you can click on the image to visit the site. So this week, the learning opportunities for humanities are really going to focus on our Vermont History Day project. Here's the schedule for the week. We're going to start every day with a 9 a.m. live stream. On Monday, we are going to have a, a green team meeting at 11 o'clock. On Tuesday, we have an 8th grade Google Meet to discuss Vermont History Day. That will be at 9.20 on Tuesday. Uh, on Wednesday at 9.20, the 7th graders will meet. Again, those are optional opportunities to talk with uh, Mr. Taylor about the Vermont History Day. We have a social meet on 11 at 11.30 on Wednesday, and then we'll be playing Minecraft Thursday and Friday at 1.15. So learning opportunity number one for uh, humanities is the Vermont History Day Annotated Bibliography. Student earns their... Ver Vermont History Day badge by submitting their Vermont History Day annotated bibliography. Uh, on, again, on Tuesday and Wednesday, I'm going to have extra learning opportunities. Uh, I'll have a Google Meet to discuss Vermont History Day. If you have any questions, uh, please consider uh, joining me then. So learning opportunity number one is our Vermont History Day bibliography. Learning opportunity number two is a draft of your Vermont History Day slideshow. Uh, you can earn your uh, second badge of the week by completing a first draft of that slideshow. The final draft, I'm hoping, is going to be due on Tuesday, May 4th. And again, don't forget, if you have questions, attend your grades Google Meets, which are Tuesday and Wednesday, and get those questions answered. Also, uh, there's specific instructional materials to help you with the slideshow. Instructional slideshow number one is mostly focused on the annotated bibliographies. Instructional slideshow number two is also uh, focused on the Vermont History Day slideshow. Each of these slideshows has an accompanying video. Those are posted on the website and they've also been included in the daily emails to students. Uh, finally, just a reminder that Monday we have a green team meeting at 11 o'clock in the morning. Tuesday, nine, it's actually 9.20. 9.30, 9.20. Uh, Thursday, we have Minecraft at 1.15. Friday, I have office hours from 9.30 to 10.30, and we also are playing Minecraft at 1.15. That concludes our April 27th through May 1st week ahead presentation. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to email or be in touch. Thank you very much, and have a nice day.